Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. US there, there had a, a negative day there on Friday, as you can see there by the extended negative candle breaking through the trend lines potential support. Uh, it does look like um, there has been a little bit of negative sentiment coming in after you know days of being uh, a quite a heady heights for it. There, you know, the S and P um, was quite high already. US 30 did reach all time highs. US earnings seasons has been good. Um, but Friday, heading into the weekend, uh, there was a fair amount of selling pressure there. And we're actually still on the wrong side of that potential support right now at 69.69. So looking at the UK 100 as well, um, a little bit of a different um, standpoint right there. Um, whereas the US markets and um, a lot of the European markets have been hit quite hard, UK 100 showing a little bit more resilience, as, the, as is Japan 225, which we'll come back to in a second. Lots of long legged candles right here bouncing around the 55 period SMA, indicative of um, a lot of sell orders um, just spiking above here. We're slightly moving into positive territory this morning. You know, I think the UK 100 is outperforming most of the other um, uh, European indices. The Germany 30 in particular is getting hit quite hard this morning as well. Um, I think it's on the back of the week of the expected um, German IFO numbers there last week. Um, but if we do see a little bit further weakness, we're looking at potential support at 6774. So moving on to that Japan 225 there for a second, um, some decent data out of China is helping push this on a lot higher, breaking through potential resistance at 15.488, next potential support uh, resistance sorry, is at 15.828, things looking a lot more bullish for Japan 225, just as dollar yen is trying to attempt to move a little bit higher. In fact we're seeing a lot of uh, US dollar movement. Um, across some of the FX pairs. I'll come back to that in a second, especially against the Euro. So um, dollar yen slowly grinding higher, trying to get above this 55 period SMA. Technicals are still neutral, indicating there is further room for maneuver right here. Um, and as I mentioned, the US dollar index is showing um, the greenback is gaining a little bit of momentum against some of the other FX pairs there right now. And lots of people will, will be looking at dollar yen in particular because uh, of the Japan 225 connection is Euro dollar uh, Euro yen is also quite interesting to have a look at. So looking at West Texas crude, uh, we actually broke uh, potential support at 103 there on Friday. We've done it again there today, but we are refusing to stay um, below that level with any sense of conviction. 103 is, is the strategic level on West Texas crude, and uh, that looks to be still firmly in play as of today's session. So that will be a good commodity to look at. Looking at gold, um, we bounced off potential support at 12.95. On Friday, um, we're down a little bit today. Not that surprising considering the US dollar is gaining momentum. Um, gold, I think, is going to really struggle with the next couple of sessions unless geopolitical risk begins to intensify. Um, we are seeing um, the conflicts in Ukraine uh, to be kind of relatively um, uh, confined uh, to that small area just now. Uh, and there's not been any more um, really bad unrest over in the Middle East, sans obviously Gaza, which needs to be quite contained as well. Um, it will be sanctions now that people will be looking at in regards to Russia uh, to get a bit of a flavor of what's going to happen uh, with safe haven assets going forward. So 1295 potential support, 1332 potential resistance, and we're a long way from that resistance right now. So the support is more likely to be in play. So the euro dollar will be where a lot of other FX traders are looking. Um, the euro, a little bit of blood in the water right now. Um, the average being that they're more likely to cut rates over in the eurozone, especially with disappointing uh, German IFO data there last week. Uh, a lot of eurozone data will be quite closely scrutinized. Uh, one spot 34.55 was the potential support, now acting as potential resistance. And we're a long way from the next potential um, support around one spot uh, 33 as a level. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and add that on there right now. Uh, and that will be uh, worth having a look at as well. So euro dollar firmly in focus. Not a lot of economic data due until you've got the Schiller index due later on today. Uh, and then you've got ADP private payrolls on uh Wednesday, obviously non-farm payrolls on Friday, so your dollar keenly watched. GBP USD also showing a little bit of weakness there, actually coming off a fair amount of the last couple of sessions, trading on the wrong side of one spot 70, next potential support one spot 69.23. Technical indicators slowly moving towards oversold, but not yet in that territory. Um, Sterling's trying to have a little bounce this morning, but um, it needs to get above one spot 70 if it's going to um, have any sort of resurgence. Arguably, we could draw another trend light on here right now. In fact, I'm just going to just give that a shot just now. We're a little bit away from any potential level on there. Um, so we'll have to see how that uh, pans out longer term. Okay, um, But that gives you an idea of what cable is. So economic data-wise, there's not much today. As I said, there is a shilling index due um, later on in the US. Tuesday, we've got um, Consumer Confidence Index. Let me just make sure I got the dates there right. Yeah, that's correct. Wednesday has a lot of data. 
you've got uh, consumer confidence for eurozone adp power payrolls and us gdp and then obviously on friday it's non-farm payrolls friday keep your eye on the chart forum as ever make insights part of your layout to get an idea of what's going on in the markets and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next